Welcome everybody, my name is Anthony James, founder and CEO of linuxacademy.com and cloudassessments.com, and today I'm joined by Avi Shea, who has used Linux Academy and recently got all five AWS certifications. Isn't that right? Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, Avi Shea? Yeah, I'm Avi Shea, uh, working as a cloud architect with Spark New Zealand, and uh, my journey with AWS started uh, Five years back, I did some uh, AWS work in my past organization. Then I joined in uh, Spark New Zealand and I started picking up some automation stuff here. Then I realized there is a need of uh, passing my exams to get promoted here. And then uh, our comp I suggested our company to enroll for Linux Academy. Uh, they have very good content. And uh, later on, all of our team started using Linux Academy for other courses as well. And it really helped me passing my exams. At the same time, uh, I would say uh, hands-on experience is another thing uh, I would uh, really um, ask everyone to uh, work for before, before sitting in the exams. Absolutely. I, I appreciate you sharing that with the team. I, I didn't know that. That's a great story. Um, to, to see how you're, you came around that. And so what's very interesting, I want to get into talking a little bit about your exams, but you said that, what, and I guess my question is, is, did your company require it to get promoted or did you do it and got promoted because you did it? Could you tell us a little bit about that by any chance? Yes, uh, actually it's kind of a uh, uh, first, first thing is uh, I was doing a lot of AWS work uh, here and uh, to uh, if, I mean, if I will uh, I'd add certifications, I will be, I mean, uh, valuable to my company. And it shows that I have good understanding of AWS resources and AWS technologies. So uh, one and uh, after uh, passing my exams, going through Linux Academy videos, I would say uh, one of the thing I, I, I would like to add here is uh, I had uh, a few of the services I haven't touched uh, in my uh, in my role here in Spark, but which is very well explained in Linux Academy tutorials, and which helped me passing my exams because uh, they have uh, each exam is having a diff different sets of technology tool sets to uh, questions comes from. So I would say that is something helped me uh, to passing my exam. So and my company, I mean, saw my potential and. Uh, See, saw me that yes, I have passed all the exams, and later on uh, they promoted me as an architect. I joined as a the assistant admin here, and they promoted as an architect later on. That's fantastic. I mean, congratulations on your promotion. That's really amazing. Um, you know, hard work on getting those five certifications looks like it really paid off. Um, and I yeah. and I just want to ask one question based off what you said. You had said that you use Linux Academy for not only <clears throat> excuse me for not only passing your certification, but it sounds like you use some of the things that you learned in your day-to-day -day job. Is that correct? Yes, yes, we do. Uh, sometimes uh, I, I'm not using DynamoDB uh, uh, much at our uh, our role here in our uh, in our application supporting our developers. But for for passing the for passing the exam, DynamoDB is something we should know about, and which is very well explained in Linux Academy tutorials. I have been. I've gone through other uh, websites as well, like I, I'm registered with Cloud Guru as well, same time, but uh, the tutorial uh, I found there, uh, uh, and if I compare from Linux Academy, they they have a very good, I mean, easy way of making things understand uh, to, to, the, to, uh, to us, actually. Great, I mean, I appreciate you saying that. And uh, obviously part of what we're doing here today is we're not, going to talk so much necessarily about Linux Academy. Our goal for you students out there watching this is to inspire you and kind of show you what these certifications can do and maybe talk a little bit about what it takes. We're going to talk about where Abhishek started, how long he did it, how he studied to go from point A to point B. But what we should really also take away from this is that hard work because to get five certifications, even the professional level, level certifications, obviously hard work goes in and it directly not only affected his ability to do the job, but it got him a promotion, which is which is really nothing short of pretty awesome. So, you know, with that, let's dive into the next question. Which certification did you start with and why? Uh, with the Solution Architect uh, AWS uh, certification, I started with because the work I was doing here uh, is more of a designing, architecting, architecture, and implementation. 
So I have to understand whole uh, whole application and which and from the architect point of view, that is the first goal for me. To how best AWS uh, can provide its its services like highly available, multi availability zones, regions, and how I can scale my application. So that is the best. I would say that is the first exam uh, for everyone to go for uh, from the solution architect point of view from supporting uh, your teams uh, in a company. So when you first started, what would you say was your biggest challenge to doing it? Was it a, I just need to talk myself into it. I need to create a study regiment. I need to somehow take time. What was your biggest challenge to start studying for really any certification, but we'll say the AWS CSA? The first year challenge for me uh, was the material. Where should I get the material from? So the first thing I did, I cl collected blueprints from AWS website, and uh, then I tried to f uh, go to uh, AWS reinvent videos, uh, and I yeah. found go very good videos around. Uh, but again, from from the exam point of view, they are very specific uh, to uh, very specific to their areas uh, like networking, security, which is very well explained. Uh, I would say uh, in Linux Academy, so they have uh, divided the modules according to the exam, uh, which helped me. I mean, not going through over the internet everywhere, so which helped me. Yeah, I should stick to these security uh, modules, and it helped me um, in a way. Uh, uh, in, in a way passing the exam like uh, I don't have to uh, go through multiple videos like 10 videos for security I have been uh, one video in reinvent and one video in uh, 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 Linux Academy and some of uh, uh, FAQs from AWS website so it all helped me together to pass pass the exam well, that's perfect I, I appreciate you sharing that and so you know mm -hmm. as part of our questions back and forth before we started the podcast you had mentioned that you took off a week of work to study for some of the professional certifications. Can you dive into that and, and maybe let us know why you chose to take off work, how you did it? If you did it all day, every day, did you cram? You know, What was your process on that? And which certifications did you aim for during that week? So yeah, uh, yeah, for professional, those exams, I mean, really in-depth exams. So they will check your... Uh, end-to-end -end understanding of uh, AWS tools and technologies. And so uh, I started my preparation prior uh, uh, taking a, a week off. So I collected all my blueprints. I collected all the material, what I need to go through in, my, uh, in one week's time. And, uh, and, uh, and then uh, I started uh, going through them one by one. So it is good. I, I would suggest. I would add, add another thing here. It is good idea to uh, give your exams. Uh, to, uh, I mean, uh, in a week's time or uh, in a ten days or fifteen days time, because you, you are fresh with your uh, studies at at, the, at that specific time. Uh, because if you will uh, leave your exam, uh, or if you pass your associates, and then you will wait to go for your professional ones, it it will again. You have to go back and check the videos and. Uh, for, and so it will really help you guys, everyone uh, who, wants, who wants to sit for the AWS exams. So one week time, I took off, I study all the videos, uh, I did some reInvent video, I, and I uh, studied Linux Academy, I did uh, some FAQs uh, from um, uh, AWS websites, and I, yeah, there is another thing I did uh, from AWS, they have very good white papers available, so it helped me a lot uh, understanding the applications. So and how a mobile application works, how uh, your web application works, and how we can scale them, how we can uh, use big data around it, how we can use analysis around it. So yeah, it, so white papers is another uh, another point to consider for passing the exams. Absolutely, you know, reading the white papers is, is a great opportunity. It's free out there. You yeah. know, if you just want to get started, you're not sure if you want to start paying for anything yet. You know, there is seven-day trial Linux heavy, but definitely go and check out some of the white papers because it's, it's very important the white papers are. Um, and, and so, you know, you had talked about doing the exams relatively quick. And what I want to do is I want to talk about that a little bit because I, I do want to be clear on the difference of, you know, you took off work and I think you spent a lot of time, probably all day, every day, is that correct, studying for the certifications? It wasn't 20 minutes a day for 10 to 15 days. You spent a lot of time cumulative to get that out there, didn't you? Yeah, yes, I, might, I, I would say I started my studies uh, a, a month back. Uh, so. 
I was going through a few of the videos. I tried to pick up the work, uh, which is uh, uh, cl close to exam, uh, which helps me in exam preparation. Like uh, I picked up a few of the projects in my day-to-day -day work related to IAM security, cross-account roles, setting up central authentication, central authorization, which gave me hands-on experience on to best utilize uh, security model, IAM resources and uh, stuff like that. So this is one of the thing, and later on, uh, uh, I planned uh, uh, for my work. I mean, I planned my studies over a week, and another thing helped me uh, uh, is uh, I mean, giving the quizzes and uh, doing some uh, 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 labs on Linux Academy, and uh, which I mean gave me understanding. Yeah, th these are the areas I have to work on because doing the real time work and uh, doing the exam passing the exam is a different thing because sure. exam can yeah so so quizzes really help me i mean pointing how, how what kind of questions can come in in the exam and which which kind of a knowledge i'm lacking so that is that that is actually a benefit for me doing the quizzes in linux academy you know that's that's great advice i appreciate you again sharing that so as we wrap up here i really have two questions left um, and the first question is, what advice would you give to a potential student or a potential team who's thinking about getting in the cloud, starting to learn AWS, or, or just trying to get certified and get started with their training? What advice would you give them? I would say uh, to prepare for uh, these AWS exams specifically, uh, first thing is get all the blueprints from AWS website enroll to uh, Linux Academy and uh, start preparing for the exams, do quizzes, do labs, and do white paper, read white papers, read FAQs uh, on AWS websites, and give, yeah, there is another thing, you have to give practice exams available on AWS website, which is very close to uh, AWS real exams. Uh, and I mean, if you do it all together, I would say you will definitely uh, pass your exams uh, if you will uh, give this uh, in, in a, a month or within a week or month whenever you're planning to do. That's great advice. And my last question would be if you were to tell somebody which certification to start with and which order to take them in, if they say wanted to get three or five, how would you tell mm -hmm. them to start? Which ones would you tell them to start with? So yeah, personally, because uh, I'm from an infrastructure background and uh, I'm a DevOps, uh, I have DevOps, so I do DevOps work here and in my past, past organizations. So solution architect is one of the, associate solution architect is one of the exam uh, I should suggest to go for. And uh, then immediately after that, uh, you know, they can go for a solution architect professional. That's what I, I did. And later on, I uh, on the same day, I set another two associate exams, uh, de uh, the developer one and uh, uh, the other other exam. Uh, and uh, later on, I set in the DevOps professional exam. So that's so. perfect advice. I, I appreciate you coming on and taking the time. Congratulations on your all five certification. That's quite a that's quite an accomplishment. Congratulations on your promotion. And is there anything outside of AWS that you're looking to kind of continue on your education outside of AWS? Are you looking for any other certifications at this time? Yeah, yes. Uh, another thing uh, we are using here is uh, Chef at the moment. So I'm already using Linux Academy for that. And I'm, I'm working uh, on hybrid cloud strategies here. So I'm uh, studying some open stack stuff from Linux Academy. So this is another thing I will deep dive uh, soon and uh, will definitely take advantage uh, 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 from tutorials available on Linux Academy. That's great. And for those who don't know, Chef recently announced their new certifications. So they have the Certified Chef Developer and Certified Chef Architect. The Chef's a configuration management tool you can use to configure cloud resources, your Linux or Windows resources type of stuff. So, you know, great. Thanks for sharing with that. I appreciate you taking the time coming on. I look forward to bringing you on again, maybe talking about some of your other certifications when you pass those and celebrating in that success. So thanks again, Abhishek. Thank you so much, Anthony, for having me here. Absolutely. Mm -hmm.